some guys have fantasy of making a million bucks somebody wants to be famous all of us have fantasies where do these fantasies come from here right i think next minute i am on the moon but then when you're watching television suddenly you see somebody has really done it somebody is really going to the moon somebody has become a billionaire right where did that reality come from here again it's the same place where you imagine things to be and where the reality starts so what's the difference how did it happen to them how did that guy how could he do it i think there's a lot of difference in wishing to do something and working at doing something i am working to be the next sachin tendulkar i am working to be the next bill gates i am working to be the next whatever so is this difference of working towards something the very word says is work 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 so you got to be ready to sweat baby there is no proverbial door to success it can't be a single door man it has to be a chain of doors opening one after another somebody gives you a responsibility you do it well that opens the first door they give a bigger responsibility that opens the second door it's about a job well done i think and we have this um, concept of mahavishnu you know sleeping as ananta shayana on the serpent happily and then lakshmi is at his feet the goddess of wealth and there are seven doors which open inside and then you see him in the end i think success is like that a job well done job well done job well done and then you have lakshmi the goddess of wealth at your feet you see her there was a president of a european country yugoslavia or czechoslovakia whatever but what he said was wonderful he said enough of staring at the steps now you step up the stairs so beautiful right enough of staring at the steps you have seen all those guys do great things achievers the heroes the celebrities fine now it's your turn damn it step up the stairs man you do something and it's 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 called steps of success they don't say escalator they don't say elevator you step up step by step you know there's a beautiful english word called excelsior right excelsior excelling is different excelling is you're good at something excelsior is moving flying higher and higher and higher you're never satisfied where you are you go higher 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 see you heard about this gold rush in um, california about uh, 150 years back right <clears throat> suddenly the news spreads that there's gold in this area so people from all over the country come there and everybody is digging for gold everybody is trying to find gold but you know who made the best money the guy who made spades for all these people this guy saw that oh everybody is digging for gold they need spade to dig right i'll make the spade and sell it to them he made the maximum money i heard so that is what all real smart entrepreneurs do one thing is very obvious which everybody sees but the real entrepreneur looks at the gap in this obvious picture where the real gold is see yesterday i was traveling from my place to somewhere near residency road till jc road the ride was smooth at jc road it got stuck for 25 minutes what normally takes me around half not took one, one hour 15 minutes something like that all because of one traffic jam so when you look at it the whole journey was not bad but one traffic jam can kill the whole journey when you think about it it is not everything about you everything is okay about you everything is fine about you but there's one little traffic jam in your mind one little traffic jam about the way you do things which kills your entire journey it could be a, a very very small thing like postponing things procrastinating things essential things in fact i heard a lovely story where gods were worried that human being is becoming too smart very soon this human being will reach my level i have to somehow stop him so all the gods decided that they will keep a invisible devil next to every human being's ear all that the little devil says ye narjan naale maad bada nama kya arjant hai kal karenge that one little thing is what stop the human beings from becoming divine so the postponement of essential things could be the traffic jam or it could be something else it could be sheer indiscipline it could be financial indiscipline what do you do when there's a traffic jam you just look at google maps and say hey god this color is bad i shouldn't take this route i take diversion that's what you normally do right that's what you do in life too consciously avoid the traffic jams 
suddenly all over Bangalore on the main junctions there are these yellow diamonds all over which is called the zero tolerance zone where you're not supposed to park or you know, keep your vehicle there at any cost. I think that's a lovely analogy that we need in life. If that these are areas one, two, three which I will not compromise on. This is my zero tolerance zone. See compromise is inevitable in life, right? You have to compromise but then wisdom they say is choosing between the right compromise and the wrong compromise. If you compromise on these zero tolerance things, you become slightly unhappy. Hey, what's, the, what's the point in saying, you know, I'm the richest guy in the world, but also I'm the saddest. What's the point in that? You can be the poorest guy in the world, but you say, I'm the happiest. That's the best way to be in, isn't it? I'll be the happiest, I'll be the richest, I'll be the smartest. But then, make sure you don't compromise on what you think is the right thing to do.